Hello, I'm Robert Pinsoli and I'm a lecturer in digital design at the University of Hull in England. Now, this is part two of a six-part series on the basics of Maya 8.5. I'm going to try and teach you the very basic processes that will get you rolling in this program. So open up the program and we'll just get started, all right? Now the very first thing we need to do is to go to the upper corner on this side of the screen and find a little teeny arrow that's pointing down. Now if you left click on that arrow, you'll see that words pop up. I want you to slide your mouse over to the word shelf tab and release. And you'll see that a whole series of shelf tabs appear above me. Okay, that's important. Now the other thing that we must change almost every time we open this package is the menu, the drop-down menu of menu sets. And that's right above the little arrow that you just clicked on. By default, it usually says animation, but we want that to say polygons. Let's get started. Above me, you'll see a row of words on the very top of the screen. I want you to click on Create Polygon Primitives Cube. All right? Now, in the view panel, just above me, with the perspective grid on it, I want you to take your mouse, left click and drag on the grid, a rectangle, and release the mouse button. Next thing to do is to left click on that rectangle and lift it up so it has three dimensions now. Now on your keyboard, locate button number 5. Not F5, just straight number 5. If you depress button 5, you'll get a default shading in your object. If you want to remove that default shading, press button number 4. Okay? Now, in those tabs above me, all right, find the tab that says General and make sure that that tab is depressed. Okay? And we're going to run through the different ways that you can view any object that you, might draw, that you might draw in the view panel. And that's those little icons up there that are blue that look like cameras. Now the, the first one that you can see, furthest on the left, is called the tumble tool. And that's a little camera shape. So just click on that, alright? Now if you, now with that button depressed, if you now go over your cube with your mouse, left click and drag, you'll see that you tumble around the cube and see it from all different dimensions. Now an easier way to do this, rather than depressing that little camera button, is to use keyboard commands. And any of you who have used computers for design or anything very complex know that you must, you must start to use keyboard commands over mouse commands whenever you can. Uh, as, you get more, uh, uh, as you get more experience in the program, you'll find that the mouse is very slow and keyboard commands are very quick. Okay, so after you've practiced with the tumble tool, I want you to move over and find the camera that says track tool. Okay, now this moves the camera in a slightly different way. This moves the camera up and down, left to right. So with the track tool depressed, go ahead and see how that works with your, with your uh, perspective view. The keyboard command for track tool is alt plus center mouse button. All right. Now, the last camera we're going to deal with is the zoom camera. Now this is, this is a very important one, a neat, one that you need to become very familiar with. The zoom camera allows you to move in and out of your perspective view. And this is a, a keyboard command, Alt plus a rotating wheel on your mouse, all right? Uh, very easy to use, very effective thing to use. You have to get used to using that immediately. Okay. Now, if you lose your way in your view panel, if you find that you, you can't tell where you are anymore, you can always find your way back to the default view by going to that list of words that's just right above the view panel. Now, on the far left of your screen, you'll see the word view. All right? So if you click on view and slide down to default home, you can always return to the default view in your perspective on your perspective grid. Okay?